Loading the latest experience of brews in baseball. Oh, yeah. Do tell us, Reese, what is our beer of the week? Ladies and gentlemen, and all genders and identities, people of the world, the universe, we have another fantastic beer from Trustworthy Brewing Company, as I realize now that the green screen might not have been the greatest idea for this. But from Trustworthy Brewing Company in Burbank, California, once again, a fine selection. We have the T-Shirt Weather Pilsner. It is... Uh, let's take a look here as I completely forget what the ABV was. It is relatively low. It is 4.1. Not exciting for me, but <laughs> I'm going to keep an open mind because this is a Pilsner. I don't have Pilsners very much. I'm trying to be a good boy. The flavor notes are brilliant, snappy, and refreshing. And of course... I read the blurb here on the back in the 1920s newsreel British guy, so here we go. The weather is beautiful, and I wish you were here. Take a seat, put up your feet, relax, and soak in the moment. With aromas of lemon zest and noble hops, and notes of cracker, honey, and crisp bitterness, you will be wearing a t-shirt all year long. It's kind of funny because I, I've i had beers before that have citrus elements to it, but this is a lemon zest. And of course, there's also, there is cracker and honey. That's a lot of interesting flavors in a beer that you don't normally find, and particularly in a Pilsner. Right. I have never seen such creativity in a Pilsner before. Yeah. I mean, uh, you've you've heard of shandies and you've heard of like blood orange IPAs or grapefruit IPAs, but this this kind of takes it a step further with with Pilsner and kind of leans into what I feel like leans into a very summery beer. My next question for you, sir, is what in the darn tootin do we rate this out of? I like off of the top, I really want to say like 41 or 4.1 cracker honey lemon zest. And I know I'm going to regret this later when I edit it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Out of 4.1, it has been established. I believe it is now time for first and sipping. Absolutely. Here we go. Here we are. You know, I will not say that it is my favorite at Trustworthy Brewing. <laughs> I'm so relieved that it tastes the way that it tastes because uh on my first and sipping i got a lot of the lemon zest which was great i, I think it complemented perfectly with the kind of pilsnery light lager ale sort of a taste and what i like about it too i don't know if you tasted this but it tastes a little bit more bitter to me too than a pilsner normally yeah, does yeah. there's a little bit of a bitter aftertaste that kind of reminds me i guess of ipas and right. that's definitely points on right board with that what would you say your ratings are uh, before we get off of here? Um, 4.1 cracker, uh, cracker honey lemon zest. 3.2 is my I final my, number. I'm bringing mine up to a 3.3. It's a good tasting beer. I think that the flavors really go well together. Even though it's lower ABV, it still has that kind of bitterness and taste and grit to it that you would find in an IPA that I enjoy. So 3.3 yep. 3 for me, I yep. think. That's so, what I will end mine on. <laughs> to a surprise of no one, another beer from our friends at Trustworthy Brewing Company, Alpen Glow IPA, a 5.9% ABV IPA, Citra and Simcoe hops, and of course the obligatory ad read on the side of the can. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whether you're catching that first light on the mountains in the crisp morning air or watching the sun dip behind the hills with its final burst of color, Alpen Glow IPA is the perfect adventure partner. Big aroma and taste from the Citra and Simcoe hops to bring this moment of zen together. Keep looking up. Feels like it's going to be a lighter IPA. It's supposed to taste more delicious, mm -hmm. rather have 
and have the bitter hard punch IPA that uh, I'm used to. I'm excited about it. 6% ABV is still pretty good. And it's out of 5.9 yep. or 59, whatever you would choose. And uh, yep, that's the one. Our first and sipping. First and sipping. First and sipping. Boy, they were not kidding. They were not kidding for a brief moment. That is, <laughs> this is not a diss whatsoever, but this is probably the first IPA I've ever had that didn't have the punch that I normally would expect. It has the same kind of taste. I don't want to call it smooth because that's like a whiskey or a like a liqueur sort of a thing. But that's kind of the that's kind of the word to describe it, though. You're you're not wrong. I would throw some sort of glow some sort of warmth in there i definitely feel some type of way having this um and i think we have to go out of 50 out of 59 uh out of 59 free agents out of 59 mm. oh, man uh, it's it's gonna be tough because i want to give it an even 50 right off the top uh it's boy it's it's in terms of its impact alone let alone the smooth taste mm. Uh, just the impact and the possibilities this could have of introducing more people to IPAs. Uh, and I think it might even get higher as the night goes on. Yeah, it's not to one-up you, but I'm going to go with 51. Did Specifically, you just right me? <laughs> no, I'm going 51. Da, 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 da. 51 is 51. my answer. Not specifically because it is one higher than yours. I was going to go with 51 regardless of what you said. Well, 51 in terms of a number. Randy Johnson, Ichiro Suzuki. There you go. Two Hall of Famers. Well, one is a Hall of Famer and one is going to be a Hall of Famer. And then when it comes to the rating of this beer, it was out of 54. or 59. Me, 59. And I said 50 before. You said 51. Yep. I'm going to have to keep it right there at 50. It is a very good beer. I will agree with you on the second time around when I didn't have the chilled glass. It was more punchy, which kind of removes that element of kind of introducing new people to IPAs and that kind of stuff. 50 out of 59 is good by me. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sitting tight on my 51 as well. I think I think 51, it says this is a really good beer, but I think it it's still behind Brass Jar as my favorite beer from Trustworthy. That said, it's still a very good beer. It is a, still a yeah. very, very, very good beer, and I am a big fan very glad that you picked us up from Trustworthy last Sunday. So that does it for Bruising Baseball. Meow!